Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to set up Kafka message queue in Rust to start producing and consuming messages using Kafka in Rust. So let's get started. First of all, we'll move to our cargo terminal file and here we will add a couple of dependencies. One of them is RD Kafka with the latest version and another one which we need is Tokyo for async programming and we'll add the features as full and then load these then move to our project explorer and here we will add a file docker compose dot yaml now this docker compose yaml we add to spin up a kafka container so we can consume and produce messages using kafka queue so first of all we'll add version as 3 here and then services the first service that we'll add is zookeeper because zookeeper is a must for kafka it's used to manage uh, the kafka brokers so we'll add image as verse mr uh, zookeeper and you can use any other image of zookeeper if you want or use the same one and then we'll name the container as zookeeper then we'll bind the port and we'll use 2181 to 2181 then we'll add kafka again we'll pull the image from same repository and container name as kafka ports will bind as 9092 to 9092 and then we'll add a few environment variables one is kafka advertised host name and this is localhost another is kafka advertised port which is 9092 and another thing that we need is kafka create topics and here we'll use the topic name so we'll say test topic as the topic name again you can add any topic name here that you want to create i will just add test topic and then our replication factor as one remember this is a must required so basically our topic we just want our message to be replicated once and then our partition so we just want one partition make sure you add both of these otherwise your container will run but then uh, it won't be able to produce or consume messages so the next thing that we need here is another environment variable which is kafka auto create create topics enable and this we have to set to false and then we have kafka zookeeper connect and then this will pass zookeeper to one zookeeper 2181 now last thing that we need which is optional for you guys but i would highly suggest to add this is depends on zookeeper so basically this service start or the container start depends on if zookeeper is started properly and make sure that all of these names of the environment variables are correct because these are required advertise host name advertise port create topics and then we have auto create uh, topics enable as false and then zookeeper connect and make sure you pass here the port and the name which is same as this and then 9092 then same as this so once you have this all ready uh, let's open our terminal and make sure you are in the same directory as your docker compose yaml and press clear and here do docker compose up okay so looks like it's running but to check we'll open another terminal instance and here we'll just do docker ps okay as you can see it shows both containers kafka and zookeeper both the containers are up and running and it says created 11 minutes ago and the status is up so basically both of our containers are running if we run again as you can see it's still up so meaning our zookeeper and kafka are both up and running now let's get started by writing producer and consumer 
So we'll move to our project explorer and here in the SRC we'll add two Rust module. One is pro producer. Another one that we need is consumer. So let's first write the producer. And here, first of all, we'll say pub fn create future producer. And we'll say let mute config is equals to client config, which is rd kafka client config new. And here we will say config dot set bootstrap. dot servers and we'll set to localhost 9092 and then we'll say let producer future producer config create and expect so we'll say failure in creating producer but if it's successfully created then we'll just return the producer so this will help us create producer now let's add a function to uh, produce messages so we'll say produce and we'll pass kafka producer to this mm, or let's call it future producer and then we'll pass a message that we want to send so here first of all we'll create a record future record and two and the topic name same as the topic name that we added in the docker compose which is test topic so let's copy this and paste it here and then we'll say payload so pass our payload as message dot as str and then we have to pass our key partition key so this i will just pass test key for now so once this all is done we'll send and check for the status or status delivery or and then here we'll just say producer or future producer dot send our record comma timeout and we'll we need this timeout from rd kafka and we'll say timeout after remove these and this and now we can access timeout directly after and we'll time out after a couple of seconds you can use maybe any other value that you want to and then we'll await let's fix the okay mm and make this async okay and now we will go ahead and check so here we'll say match and status which is our status delivery if it's a okay report and then we'll go ahead and print ln message send Basically, this will print our so this will print our uh, offset and the partition. And if it's not successfully delivered, then we want to produce the error and we want to print it. And we'll just add error producing okay so this one is pretty much ready let's rename this to status delivery and i think we are good with the producer now let's add the consumer so here first of all we'll say pub async fn start and we'll say let consumer 
stream consumer create we'll add create in a minute so we'll just say fn create stream consumer and here we'll say let mutable config client config from rd kafka new and then we'll set we'll set our bootstrap servers first of all which we can obviously copy from here and we'll set here and the second thing that we need is setting up the auto reset so auto dot offset dot reset to earliest and then we need group id so we'll set group dot id as test group now this you can set anything and set socket timeout dot millisecond and then we'll set this to 5000 or maybe 4000 so this is pretty much the configuration and now here we'll create consumer so we'll say let consumer stream consumer config dot create and expect the error so we'll say fail to create consumer and then we'll just return the consumer from here so the configuration looks good now let's consume the messages so we'll say async consume consumer stream consumer and let's call our consume in the start and pass the consumer and await now here first of all we'll just subscribe so we'll say consumer dot subscribe so here you can pass a vector of topics and i currently only have one topic which is test topic if you have multiple topics that you want to consume you can add those and expect on subscribe and then to keep on consuming we'll add a loop so here we'll just say loop match consumer dot receive dot await and we'll say error e so for early exit we are just printing the error first and then if it's a okay message in that case we will say match message dot payload view and here we'll say cast to str and we will add some cases here so if it's none we'll just print a len none message if it's some okay uh, message then we'll just go ahead and print a len message consumed and we will say message so just print our message and then if it's some error of message then we'll just say print a len error parsing and we'll just print our error after this ends we'll just say consumer which is our consumer accessible inside this sorry consumer dot commit message and here we will pass the message and we'll say commit mode dot async dot unwrap so once this commit is done we are ready with our consumer with the configuration make sure all the configuration is correct for consumer as well as the producer 
and then we'll just move to our main and here we will first create a uh, producer so we'll say let producer is equals to producer create and then we'll say produce we'll pass our producer and the message let's say hello world uh, I this thing so let's wrap it in string from okay so our message to produce and let's await for this so for that we have to make our man as async and on the top we have to add Tokyo so this is the message produce now let's start our consumer so we'll just say consumer start await so this will just continue to loop and this is our message and our containers are running producer is this consumer is this let's test it so here we'll go ahead and open our terminal and as you can see both the terminals are running for kafka for docker ps command and in another terminal we'll just say cargo run quite so the message is sent And there you go as you can see hello world i'm testing message is consumed so that's it make sure your config is correct and make sure your producer config is correct and if that's the case you should be able to produce and consume messages that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand the concept i'll catch you guys in the next video if you feel any problems uh, just replicating this thing drop a message i'll be happy to help that's it Thank you for watching.